Hello YouTube, it's me again, Roberto Perez. I've been uh, doing a lot of searching online, trying to find other people who have had the same problem that I have, which is myoclonus, and trying to see if I could find support groups, anybody who actually has had a diagnosis and actually understands what is causing this kind of thing. Again, in case you guys don't know, myoclonus is a symptom, it's involuntary movement, and it could be caused by so many different things. Uh, Hop Hodgkin's bar disease, I believe it's called. Uh, brain inflammation, such as a tumor or infection. I remember there was a house episode with uh, a viral infection was in this guy's brain and he started convulsing and that kind of stuff. But in any case, I still, unfortunately, whenever I research and find actual people who have had the same problems that I have, I typically will find people who are in the same position that I am, meaning that they have doctors who they feel have given up on them, or that doctors that can't actually pinpoint what is causing this and therefore help the patient. Uh, I saw one, in particular, one poor woman on YouTube, the doc, she said the doctors diagnosed her with mechanical jerking and felt that it was stress and anxiety related which to me that's bogus it's not stress or anxiety you don't twitch involuntarily constantly because you're stressed out you would eventually yeah well and in, in any case so after thinking about this for a long time i've decided i'm going to try to start a kickstarter campaign and actually make a documentary film detailing my life and my personal medical history and not only that but what i think causes it i I have my own suspicions, but I really should keep them to myself for now. Basically, folks, when I think about this, the only the only time I've actually met anybody who is actually he has who has the same problems that I have, and I talked with her a long time. She she had multiple sclerosis, and that's what was causing this kind of involuntary movement. And with multiple sclerosis, it's the autoimmune disease where your own body will start to attack your nerve, your um, nerve endings, specifically the myelinar sheath that coats your nervous system. So think about it as your here's your nerves, here's the myelinar sheath that covers it, and the sheath will have you know like little like like road bumps, potholes, if you will, and because it's not electronically insulated. It will it will activate on weird ways, which might con cause these kind of contractions. Now, I actually asked my doctor after seeing this, one of the many neurologists that I've seen. I've seen a lot of specialists, folks. I've seen neurologists, infection specialists, rarely, ear, nose, and throat specialists, ENTs. I saw an oncologist once. For all I know, it could be cancer, but I haven't had any doctor try to really think about that. At all but in any case I asked my doctor my neurologist about multiple sclerosis and he flat out said you were way too young I was 23 at the time I'm 34 years old now so I mean if I went to the same kind of doctor he might say maybe you do have multiple sclerosis but at the time he said no you're way too young that's not what that's not what's causing it and just dismissed it right away so basically folks what I'm going to do I'm going to make a documentary all I need really money for is a actual video camera a good video camera what I want to do is I want to interview other people who have had these same kind of problems and see how I stack up against what their medical history is what they feel is happening or I mean I, I know doctors they're supposed to ignore what the patient thinks or what or whatever but I mean I've in many cases I've had to be my own doctor I've had to actually research these things and then I ask a doctor to do specifically this kind of test and they either say okay yeah that's fine we'll do it and they don't find anything or they just dismiss it and don't even bother so it's kind of upsetting and I've I've kind of, I mean I've have literally gotten to the point where I know I'm not gonna get cured of this I'm gonna have to live with it I'm gonna have to deal with it but when I think about it People with multiple sclerosis, they may have the same kind of movements that I have. And again, myoclonus is just a symptom of something else that's a bigger problem. But when you consider how publicly known multiple sclerosis is, um, 
Parkinson's disease does the same thing. I actually asked a doctor and he said the same thing with, with MS. You're too young. There's no possible way that you can have Parkinson's disease. And I think it was, I was 26 at this, when this happened. And I've had this myoclonus, the first time I noticed it was way back in 1996. And I was, I think, I was 14 at the time. My doctor said, oh, okay, well, uh, some people, some people's nervous system are just, they're just not normal. And I asked him, and I, because I knew something was fishy, something smelled fishy. And I go, so is this normal? And he, go, and he goes, well, it's, 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 it's nothing to be concerned about. I go, is this normal? And I go, I noticed that you are not twitching in the same way. And he's like, oh, well, I, I just have, a, my nervous system's good. And really what it was is I think because I had an HMO medical insurance at the time, I think the doctor just didn't want to send me to a specialist. Maybe he didn't want to lose money that month. Whatever the case may be, he failed me. And, but I mean, it's, it, who cares? It's, it's happened so many times before. Luckily, I switched doctors eventually after that. I was still a minor, so I couldn't, you know, I could go to my parents and say, hey, I want to switch doctors, and they would just ignore me or whatever. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start a Kickstarter regardless of what happens, even if I don't get funded, even if nobody knows or cares about this. I will make a documentary that will be free to the public on YouTube. It's going to be under fair use, which means anybody could download it reproduce it, redistribute it. I consider it a public service announcement. But basically, folks, um, if if I don't get funded at all, I'll make it with just this webcam, which won't look too good, obviously. And I'll just put scans of every single one of my medical records. And I've been keeping track since I first started having this, even back in high school, because I thought something was very wrong. So I started to keep a diary and just wouldn't tell anybody about it. I'd write down all my symptoms, write down all the weird things like, hey, today I had tunnel vision and I almost blacked out, or today I had tunnel vision and I actually did black out, and vertigo, um, lost my hearing for like five minutes, lost feeling in, this, in my left, not my left arm, I think it was my right arm. That actually, they checked my... Uh, they, I had a good uh, blood pressure because that seems like a heart attack. All sorts of other things, you know, weird bubbling sensation on my spine, like I have air bubbles in my spinal column, all these kind of weird things. And they, this has been happening for years and years. And it's, it's a lot, a lot of different things. And I would keep track of every single one of them. And the more that I read these, these personal logs that I've been keeping, the more I realize that it's all it's all related. Somehow it's related. I have my own personal suspicions and I'm pretty sure I know what's causing this and what, what this is. For all I know, I could have cancer. I, I don't know if that's the case. I wouldn't, I, <laughs> none of the doctors have even considered that. Maybe I just need to see more oncologists or who knows, but I want to just share, regardless of what is causing this, regardless of specifically what kind of illness this is, I'm going to share my personal medical history with everybody. So that way, when I look on YouTube and when I see people that have the same problems and they feel that their doctors have given up on them, they feel that they have no, they have, they're just, there's nothing that they could do and they give them antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, Things like that. That those. That's not going to help. It's not anti. It's not depression or anxiety that's causing these kind of things. And I want everybody out there to actually be aware of this, in case they have loved ones or friends or family or even themselves that have these kind of problems. So compared to let's say multiple sclerosis, which is well known, Montel Williams, a celebrity. He's he's a good uh, talk show host. I kind of missed that show. Uh, Michael J. Fox, unfortunately, poor guy. He twitches the same way that I do. He does it a lot more though, unfortunately. And I remember seeing him on an interview and he was describing that I think he took medicine and it didn't take effect yet and the poor guy was twitching so badly. But I mean, that's gonna be me eventually. So I want, I want to do this because everybody knows about Parkinson's, everybody knows about multiple sclerosis, nobody knows about actual myoclonus, 
and the stuff that people have to go through when they go to a doctor and they just say, hey, stress and anxiety, here's the medicine. Give me, give me, give me money. And it's sad because even when I got a PPO medical insurance, I thought, okay, I don't have an HMO. I'm going to see good doctors and they'll actually, you know, make money, do tests, but they'll actually uh, diagnose and hopefully cure me or at least give me medicine that will reduce the amount of symptoms that I have so I can actually get on with my life and get a job or have, you know, not black out all the time or have other medical, other things, you know, actually get a job, get an income. And it never happened, never happened. The doctors would be, they would sound better. They would do a lot more tests. They would send me to specialists. My primary care doctor, he really did try. The specialist that I saw, I mean, they tried to, but they, they didn't get any results. So it's just, uh, who knows? I'll just try, I'll just clearly spell out everything. I'll scan my medical records and just de I'll give you detailed explanations of what happened to me, what I think happened, what I was describing to the doctors. And then if I get a camera, I'll just go and start interviewing other people who have this kind of same problem. And hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I could find a doctor who knows what he's doing. And hopefully people can actually get medicine that somehow helps them get a normal life. So thank you, YouTube. If you want to help me with this project, just uh, check out the Kickstarter that I'm going to link to on this page and help me out. If not, then uh, I'll just do it with the webcam. It just won't look good but it'll be free and available to all of you. All right, thank you guys.